Hello out there, YouTube. So I've got a fairly new product, at least in the uh, USA market. Um, I think I've only seen a couple people, uh, I think three people actually review this item. Uh, it's not anything like really crazy expensive, um, but it literally took the slow boat from China to get to me. Uh, I ordered this, I believe it was back in March of this year, uh, mid, late March of this year, and I finally got it today. Uh, it is the SG906 Pro drone, uh, the Beast. Now, the original Beast uh, came out last year or so. Uh, had uh, good flight characteristics from the reviews that I saw on it, uh, but you know, not the greatest camera, probably horrible camera, but what can you expect? This one has a, a better camera, um, excuse me, camera. They state at uh, 4K, it probably doesn't shoot at 4K, probably uh, uh, 1080p, maybe at 2.5K or so. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to unbox it. This one has a, um, a two-axis gimbal, whereas the original Beast drone just had a little uh, dampening single gimbal. And I'm going to call it, I guess, a gimbal, but a single uh, stabilized camera that uh, uh, was motorized and went up and down. Uh, like I said, this one is supposed to, it has a uh, two-axis gimbal. So... Let's unbox it and see what you get. Yeah, I, I was uh, really surprised. Uh, I had been, I bought this through TomTop and it just took just a crazy long time uh, to get here. I think it was stuck in customs for two weeks in Los Angeles before it was uh, sent to the uh, uh, to the uh, delivery company which was FedEx and um, like I said I finally got it today box is a little uh, distressed as you can see <laughs> but it does come with a nice um, little carrying uh, case for it uh, ZLRC Quad copper. Let's see, is this? Nope, I guess I have to tear it open. Oh no, there it is. Figured there was a way just to open it up. Yeah. This is a nice little bag. Has a carrying handle on top. And the uh, shoulder strap. So yeah, that's nice. ZLRC, our logo on it. I saw this uh, actually uh, reviewed by Captain Drone, and I said, I really would like this probably to be one of my first drones. And it, um, it took so long to get to me that the Mavic Air 2 was introduced, and I bought the Mavic Air 2. See, it's not in, I'm not pulling it out right now, but had the Mavic Air 2 bag with the Mavic Air 2 in it. But yeah, okay, a little piece of foam on top, and there's some stuff, looks like, in this little zipper pocket here, so let's see what we get in here. I think it's just the manuals, yeah. So it's the manuals for it, um, one in Japanese, um, God, I'm not even sure what that one is. Uh, I guess English or uh, UK. Wow. Germany, uh, Italy, and a couple other countries. So we've got uh, quite a few manuals in all these different from these different countries. Um, 
little card tell you how to take the gimbal cover off. Okay, that's all that's up there. Let's see what else we got. Here is the controller. I think it takes four AA batteries. So, you know, this isn't um, uh, anything, you know, mind shattering when it comes to drones. Uh, we'll come back to the controller here in a second. Another little piece of foam here. Ah, battery. And this is a 7.4 volt, so it's a 2S, uh, 2800 milliamp hour battery. And anytime you probably buy, especially, especially uh, these drones, uh, these uh, budget drones coming from overseas, I've watched quite a few interviews, excuse me, reviews, and they've all said pretty much make sure you buy an extra battery because you may not get uh, another one because of these, uh, the shipping hazards of these LiPo batteries. And this one, I uh, hit the button here. And it's uh, got four blue lights, so it's probably pretty much charged. That's the battery. Now, I ordered a uh, two-battery edition, so uh, I, probably one battery is already in the drone. Let's see what we got here. Say, little screwdriver, micro USB cable. your joysticks. Now I've, I've seen a couple of reviews and uh, these are not the best uh, because they don't screw in. Um, I don't know if I can actually show you that. They don't screw in. All they do is push into the the uh, the top of the, uh, the, the gimbals on the controller. So uh, they can't pop out. And this looks like it's just a set of props here. Let's see what we got. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So we've got a, uh, a, a full set of props. So if you damage them, uh, you have another set of props to, uh, to put onto the quad stopper. And the last but not least, the beast. It, you know, it's not a very light drone. Um, I know it's not uh, expensive, but it's not light. You know, I'm going to go ahead, well, since I got it here, I'm going to pull out my... Uh, my Mavic Gear 2, I just want to see the difference. Now, as you can see, the Mavic Gear 2, I have the battery in it. The Beast is actually heavier, I think. They, they're close, but I almost say the Beast is almost a little heavier. Uh, maybe it's a little bit lighter. Maybe I shouldn't say it. Maybe it's a little bit lighter, but not by much. Um, and they are, if, you, if I'm showing that right, they are pretty much identical in, um, in length. I mean, they're exactly, put the blades together here. They are exactly the same in length. They are. They're pretty much the same in height as well. If I can actually show that in camera really well. But they're really close even in height. I like that, maybe that kind of show it better. So, how crazy is that? You have a drone that costs eight hundred dollars. Drone that's 
you know, since I bought one with an extra battery, it cost me, I think, $160. Uh, but you can get it uh, a little less than that. If you buy just one battery, I think you can get it for $140, uh, $150 maybe. So let's go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and uh, take this uh, plastic off here. Right, satisfying. And as you can see, it has the Beast uh, uh, logo emblem on it. It's really cool. Um, there's the battery in the back. So I did get two batteries. Let's uh, fold out the, let's see how we do it here. Fold out the arms. So the, uh, from back to front, and then back legs. It is a nice size quadcopter. It truly is. So let me see if I can get this uh, gimbal cover off here. I believe you, okay. So <laughs> that's interesting. You have to kind of, let's see if I can get that in camera, get it on the sides here and then push. So let me do this with a couple hands, I guess. On the sides and push. Okay, so there's the gimbal cover. It's it's not bad. It's a little that's a little weird, I guess, um, because you almost need two hands to get the gimbal cover off. Let's put the gimbal cover to the side here. So yeah, you see it's a two-axis gimbal. Yep. So if when the quadcopter is uh, is pitching forward and back, it would keep it supposed to keep it stabilized that way. And if it rolls left, rolls right, then it should keep it stabilized that way. But there's no yaw. So when it's yawing left and right, it's not stabilized that way. Okay. Let's go look around. There's nothing on this side. We got the battery in the back. And on this side, you see at the bottom, we have a micro SD card slot. Uh, I think it's recommended that you use a you know, class 10 card, probably no bigger than 32 gigabytes. On the bottom, you see the antenna. And it does have an optical flow camera. On the bottom, if I can show that. Yeah. So, um, it will hold its position through optical flow. It also, of course, it does have uh, GPS. So, it will um, um, return to home on loss of signal, as well as um, low battery. Or... Um, there should be a button, I believe, on the controller as well that will uh, bring it back home. So, this is a nice drone. I probably should have did the controller before I did the drone. Let me uh, set the case over here so I can put the drone out. And then we have the, uh, the controller. So, I think a nice size phone will fit in there. It's, you know, it's plastic. It, you know, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Beast drone feels a little more solid than this controller does. Like I said, it takes uh, four AA batteries. Um, on the controller, you have a speed button. A return to home power button camera button and picture button 
on the back let's see if I can tell what they are I think I'm going to have to look at the um, the manual for this one if I'm not mistaken on the left side you have um, uh, I think it's headless mode um, God and I would forget, and I just uh, looked at the information. I probably should have looked at that information before I finished up the video. But I figured they would be marked. But I know I think well, I have to look them up. So you have headless mode, and you have the the gimbal up and down. I think on this side, and there is uh, oh I know what it is. It's uh and it's not marked in any way, shape, or form. Um, one key uh, takeoff and landing. Uh, is on this side, and then your gimbal controls are on this side of the drone. So, um, it also has a little screen that gives you some telemetry. And um, that is about it. Maybe I'll go ahead and put some batteries in it and uh, turn on the controller so you can see it. Um, but as for, you know, this is pretty much it though. So, you have the drone, you have the controller. Like I said, I ordered an extra battery. You have your spare props. Props here. You have your various manuals for the drone. Somebody else um, was joking. They were talking about there's every language here but Chinese. <laughs> Um, the gimbal cover, your your sticks, screwdriver to screw on the uh, the propellers or anything else when needed, and your micro SD, excuse me, your micro USB cable, and then like I said, a little card to show you how to uh, uh, put take the gimbal cover on and off. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing of this one. And um, so probably in the next video, I'll probably take it out and uh, uh, show you how it flies. Okay, thanks. I just wanted to come back and uh, add just a couple of seconds to, to the original video. Um, I went ahead and I put... Uh, batteries in the controller you see it's it's uh, blinking because the uh the drone itself isn't cut on uh so it's waiting to get the uh, signal from the drone to to link it um but as you can possibly see here at the bottom let me see here you have the telemetry you have the height the um distance um you have a signal for excuse me a icon for the satellites um, the signal strength right now is showing mode zero. I don't know if that's going to come in on the camera or not, but it's showing mode zero, and that's because one, it's not linked to the. It's of course it's not linked to the drone. Once it's linked to the drone, if it doesn't have sufficient satellites, then it's in mode one. If it's in mode one, that means that the optical flow sensor. Uh, will keep the drone in place. Once it receives uh, enough satellites, then the optical flow uh, system will shut down and it will go into mode two, which is GPS. Let me see, is there anything else on here? No, I think it will show, let me see, I'll push the uh, video button. And I don't know if that's gonna come out or not, but the, the re recording icon does come on. And hit it again, and it went back off. Okay, and uh, I don't know if it'll come up again on the screen because I can't see it. But if you have the camera button, the, the uh, uh, camera icon pop, um, pops up right quick to show you taking a picture. Okay, so this is the remote with batteries in it. All right.